Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the League of Nerdy Gentlemen. I am Sam, playing a game called Mike Runner Dark Pulse. This game, um, I think, is free. Well, I know it's free. Uh, currently free on GOG. It's having a big summer sale right now, uh, which is really great. You should definitely go and check that out. Uh, but uh, I think this is on sale for 24 hours or something like this. Uh, but I can't actually be 100% sure right now because I got an email through saying, yeah, okay, here we go. It's free for 24 hours as of, uh, well, I got the email at 20 to 3 on the 18th of June. So I don't know when this is going to be out. Um, hopefully tonight, hopefully tomorrow. Uh, and you'll still be able to get this if this looks like a good game. And if not, then avoid it at all costs. Uh, I'm Gamachi. Mutant, inventor, scientist, for you to understand. I need to start at the beginning. In the 21st century, the Glukersberg Corporation rose to a position of world dominance. By 2035, their LifeNet total existence network had linked billions of people across the globe, encompassing social, economic, government, private and public services within one monstrous, ever-evolving system. With LifeNet and the corporation's vast financial resources, Glukersberg accomplished what governments could only hope for, a worldwide populace that wanted to conform, and that was willing to sacrifice privacy for security, safety, and interaction. The CEO Kram Glukisberg pooled tens of thousands of scientists together to find a new source of free energy to be used for space exploration. The result was magnetic technology. Glukisberg's space program would be a three-month test of not only magtech, but also citizen explorers, astronauts chosen from the populace. After worldwide selection trials that tested the applicants' athletic capabilities and knowledge of mathematics, physics, and psychology, seven candidates were chosen to enter Glukersberg's training facility. These seven, selected from scientists, athletes, and civilians, would take Glukersberg's technology to the stars. Glukersberg called them his magrunners. A 500,000 square foot training facility filled with puzzles and physical obstacles was built over the San Andreas Rift. The world watched and waited. This young man is Dax C. Ward. Dax's father, like me, was an expert in genetics and cybernetics. One of the few who had no compunctions about working with a mutant. James and his wife Lavinia became my closest friends. When the accident happened, Dax was left in my care. I raised the boy the best I could, and he soon began to show signs of his father's brilliance. Dax had an aptitude for robotics, genetics, engineering. He read everything he could about Glukersberg's magtech and began to apply the same principles to creating his own technology. By the time he was 11, he had started his own business, repairing and creating new devices. By the time he was 15, he had built and programmed the Newton prototype, a one-of-a-kind electromorph robot. So I suppose that I shouldn't have been surprised when he told me on his 23rd birthday that he wanted to apply for the Krukersberg Magtech program. He had the skills, and he had the brain for it. As we completed work on his custom maglav, I knew he was ready. Okay, so um, I've, I've literally jumped straight into this, I don't know what it's like, I don't know anything about it, so this is completely 100% first impressions, I have no idea what to expect, but um, from what I saw, I didn't do that much research, but it seems, <coughs> oh god, horrible cough, it seems to be some sort of portal-esque uh, puzzle game, so we'll go with that for now, shall we? Mike Tech. So, my friends, thank you for joining us today. 
Today, oh, Krukus for Mag Tech is proud ah, to unveil our space exploration training facility. Today is the first day of a three month training program that'll prepare our Mag Runners for space exploration. Mag Runner sounds like a Cartoon Network show. But also learn to work Just realized. together as they forge our future. Now, let's hear a few words from Xander Deverin, the creator of the facility and genius MagTech engineer. I've spent considerable oh, time and energy designing the testing facility with functional examples of our new technology. During training periods, contestants will find some of these look like tomatoes, some of these look the like Christmas decorations. This is bizarre. And later, what they are Why are there even tomato of? trees out here? I mean, sure being under here isn't going to grow, like, make you grow that making. fast. Brought to you the hell are the you? Same minds responsible for the life net. After you a look like a pop star. Mag runners are preparing to enter the facility for the first time. Mag runner. It's almost sure. Ah! Oh, it's you. You ready for this? I'm nervous, Kamaji. I made it here. Now the real training starts. The Mag Runners training will be the most important three months of their lives. They will pit their it's pretty good hologram, isn't it? Against the brilliant Mag this is really good, like, technology to choose a fully 3D hologram. Their progress. We've been allowed into the facility for the first 24 mm, hours. Oh my god, how long? How deep you down is this tunnel? We must have traveled about a thousand feet as it is. Oh, for Stay God's sake. Focused. I remember why you were here. Newton and I will be following on the life net. He says good luck. No, Gamaji. We're talking about going into space if I pass the training. It's hard to believe. If your parents were here, I know they'd be very proud of you, as I am. Be sure to test out the new mag club before you start. Ready, Xander? Yep. Ready. Let's begin. Good luck, Dex. Right. Cheers, bro. Stay focused. Truck. Oh, well, well, an immediate loading screen. There we go. Okay, so this is my glove. Welcome to the state of the art, Mag Runners. Xander's really outdone himself with this facility. We hope you enjoy this miracle of Mag Tech modularity. <laughs> okay. Let's pick you up. Let's take you with me. Or can I not? What do I have to do? Oh, what is... What are you? Do I place you here? So you'll be magnetized to the other one, wouldn't you? So if I picked you up and I put you... Yeah, I think I can only put on top of you, so... I mean, I can't get many L. Oh, okay, I know what I didn't need to do. Green. Very cool. Very cool. Okay. I'm liking the physics of this. Although I was never very good at Portal and physics games, so, um. This might go terribly wrongly. Also, immediate loading screen. Maybe that was inspired by Portal as well. Oh, uh, another lift. The Krukusper Mag Tech Experience oh, brought to you live by life. Okay, I can tell you now for nothing, so the bad, pacing imagine. of this game is the other Mag terrible. Don't get too confident. That's just the beginning. Three months is a long time. At least in Portal, you're right in it. And the loading screen? Oh, okay. See, so this is why I like games like, I think it's called Cube. Because it's just very straightforward. It's just puzzle, 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 puzzle. No messing. Look at this tech. How did Xander develop this stuff? Just focus on your training. I'm going to limit our transmissions to the elevators between levels. There's less interference. Hold on. You. If I put you here. Okay. All right, hold on. Put this on here. Yep. Put this on here. And red. Whoa! Okay. Cool. 
I've got a feeling that we're probably going to be stopping soon. Which saddens me, actually, because, do you know, the game bit of this is actually very good. I just, if this is how things are going to go every single time, I've got, I don't have much of a desire to actually do the game bit of it. Dax, Cassandra Shin from LifeNet Media. Can you give us a few thoughts about today? I mean, if the next chamber How is, you, feel uh, about being you know, the only mag runner without outside corporate funding, the, the, or if, if every single one of them is the same as this, as do deal really, well, obviously it'll advantage? get much more com uh, complicated. But I have a trainer. Yeah, the first few were this simple, and then you meeting this with these cutscenes that, Gamaji? frankly, are boring. Yeah. Sorry, mission. I have to go. Ah, and then I'm a loading screen every single time. I'm not frankly happy with that at all. Um, Maybe you could burr it? I frankly cannot. Okay. First I need to get there. So... What have we got? Well... Got a lot of things actually in... I don't... Uh, green. I clearly need to be here. There's a platform... There's nothing to actually shoot me upwards unless I... Is this? Okay, we're gonna use the technique from before. I see that. Can I grab it? No. Oh, damn, son. Red. Red. Gotcha. I'll stand your green for now. Oh, neutral. Okay. Okay, I can't up. I'm there. So green. Uh, we'll, we'll use green for you. Yeah. Red. Very cool. So I didn't have to even bother doing any of that. Well, yeah, I guess I did because magnetizing that drops the cube off the platform. It's getting a little bit more complicated. But alas, cutscene time. Yeah. Right, I think the next chamber is going to be the last one we're going to do, Dex, which is like very, very quick, very, trials? you know, very fast. They're all under um, mission. The training is discovery -based. Yeah. I will not but, less than if you can tolerate this, th this freaking cutscenes, and maybe you've already immersed yourself in this world in the story, if so, my props to you, um, see why you keep more power to you, you know. Um, <laughs> it's free, free right now, um, for... You know, as of the time I stated earlier, what was it, 23? As of the 18th of June. Right. It's I'll free for 24 what, hours. Uh, I don't know if GOG are going to do any more of free games, which is actually, front page of if they do, it'd be great. Um, uh, sure. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know how much this is normally. I think I'll find out post video and I'll edit in a little segment. And that will probably, that will probably affect my overall recommendation. On this. At least there's lots of food. What? Oh yeah. What is that? Is that meant to be a strawberry? That's terrifying. Okay, down. Huh. Okay. How do I break that? Look, look. You didn't need. That bit of dialogue, completely unnecessary. Sorry, was. Because um, it's, it's very, it's very obvious how I break that. It was very obvious that I was supposed to break that. You know, this is not difficult. I've been learning about this for ages. Great. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, all right. Stop, stop. Get down. I wasn't expecting that, all right? Red. Green. Where am I? Oh, God. I didn't even get to see where I was being sent. No important, I don't think. I mean, that would be where I would look. See if I actually did manage to get anywhere through that. Straight forward. No one here high enough. Right. Okay. So 
So that would send... Okay. I'm going to move everything off for now. Uh, oh, what's going on here? Okay. Um, that doesn't get high enough. That will send things flying high, but I can't actually move it. That's, you know, that's firmly stuck in place. But, okay, what happens if I have this and I have it and I set it, no, I set it to green. I actually set it to green. Well, pick it up, come neutral, and I'll set it to green. I mean, what if that's a ruse? Red. That sends you right up there. Okay. Huh. Red. There we go. That's what we needed. A third one. One. Two. Three. So, do we need two positive charges then a negative charge? So, yeah. Awesome. Free go. Do it, do it. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I think we'll conclude. That'll be the last chamber for now because, well, I guess we'll, we'll watch the last cut scene. Um, because this is, okay. Okay, so. Kamaji, are they off the comm? Yes. There's something wrong with that Sander guy. Don't listen to him. And what did that reporter mean by that mutant? Yeah, she's kind of a pain, huh? She's just digging for an interview to make Grukesberg look good. Keep your head on. Using the glove, I think, is a good way to do the cutscenes. That should have been done more often. Um, uh, is this part of the ow. training? Bios are good, Xander. What happened? A minor power fluctuation, Mr. Krukusberg. I've ensured that it won't happen again. Okay, well, we'll leave it here on the big test chamber. As, because you don't want me to brainlessly walk around ages trying to figure out a puzzle that you may have already found out the answer to, because I'm slightly dumb. Uh, well, I definitely am when it comes to these. Um, so, yeah. It's fun. It's good. Um, I think now that those cutscenes have hopefully stopped for uh, at least a while, uh, we will see a very good game coming through here. An interesting game. Uh, does it have the exact same charm as Portal? Well, no, because it doesn't have the same style of humor and everything, but... Um, but... That gives me a new one every time. Okay. Right, I am I'm doing this puzzle, aren't I? <laughs> I should stop now. Yeah, I will go and check the price of the game. Um, but, cutscenes aside, very good. Looks nice. Puzzles are different, unique. Yeah, liking it. No problems with performance, anything like that. It looks good, it runs well. Got nothing more to say about it. We'll check the price and I'll see if I think it's worth that much. And to be honest, I'm thinking that it will be. So here we go. Magna Runner Dark Pulse. Thank you for watching the video. Price time. Uh, $4.99 is regular place for price, even for Magna Runner. Can't complain for that. Not at all. Very good. I'd, I'd, I'd have paid more than that. Yeah. I was expecting it to be $15 at the very least maybe twenty dollars but no fantastic brilliant yeah five dollars <laughs> if you can't get it for free it's still cheap as shit and more than worth it in my opinion so yeah impressed well done magaronas